Shalom, this is Levi Shore. Welcome back to Swing Torah. We're going to do Parsha Netzavim. So incredible Parsha. So in this Parsha, Hashem promises us that this gullus we're in. We've been in this Roman exile for 2,020 years now. It's quite a coincidence, isn't it? Uh, so King Herod in the year zero, he died. And his sons took over for him and they split the kingdom. But they were now under the power of the Roman Empire. And, and we've been under this, uh, you know, power you know, where really the power of the West now has been the Roman Empire and its remnants and the powers of Europe and finally the power of America, the United States of America. And even though we've had some lessening in this where we've returned to land of Israel, we're not fully out of this exile yet where we see the return of a Melech, a king, to the land of Israel and the reestablishment of the Torah and the mitzvahs where all the Jewish people are following the Torah. And then we see the rebuilding of the base of Mikdash, the temple, and we'll see a, finally an end to this gullus when we see the return of the Shekhinah, when Hashem manifests His presence on top of the Ark of the Covenant, inside the Holy of the Holies of the Temple, and then we'll finally see an end to this, this exile, this gullus. And in this Parsha, Hashem promises us that this gullus will end, we'll have the Gula, we'll have the, the revelation of Hashem in the world, and we'll be finally free of, uh, you know, domination by the, the foreign nations. Okay, so Hashem says, He says, V'haya ki yavo alecha kol advarim ha'elech ha'bracha v'ha'kalala And He says, And it will be when all these things come upon you, the, the blessings and the curses, asher nesati lefanecha v'ha'shevosa elvavecha v'kol ha'goyim asher hidahacha Hashem alokecha shama and it says, it will be when all these things come upon you, the blessings and the curse that I have presented, I have put before you, then you will take it into your heart and among the nations where Hashem your God has dispersed you, has exiled you too. So we've been exiled all around the world. So what are these klalas and the bracha? What, what is the curses and the, and the blessings? So unfortunately, through all of Jewish history, when we stray away from the Torah and the mitzvot, we see these curses come upon us. First, we see the destruction of the first and second temple on Tisha B'av, and then through all of history, we've seen all these curses unfortunately come upon us. We've seen the, the Crusades, and, you know, they, they're killing Jews all over Europe and in the Middle East, and we, we see the pogroms and the Inquisition and the massacres, and, and, and then the worst is the Holocaust, this horrible destruction in the 20th century. And we even see it, we see the klalas, and we see these crazy weather patterns now, these ultra-powerful hurricanes. We, we see these wildfires raging in California. We, we have tornadoes. We have fire tornadoes. And then we have this, this pandemic of the COVID-19. And we see all the klalas. You know, we see all the klalas. So what are the brachas? What are the brachas we've experienced also in this gullus and this exile? So we see that... Even though we're in, in exile, like Hashem has given us, uh, you know, He's given you know, wealth to the Jewish people, even in exile. We, we've, we've had high government positions all throughout the exile, and we see it's incredible. We see there's three Jewish women on the Supreme Court. We see there's many senators and Congress people that, you know, are Jewish. I, I mean, we, we, the, the president, uh, my, my family personally left Odessa in, in the... Uh, in the 1800s to come to America because of all the pogroms that were happening like every 10 years or so, those horrible pogroms, and we had to flee. And then we see now the president of Ukraine, President Zelensky, is Jewish himself. Incredible how much that area has changed. So we see the return of the Jewish people, um, and we, it started with the students of the, uh, the Vilna Gon and the Baal Shem Tov, and their students began to return, and that began the return. That began the Aliyah, the return back to Eretz Yisrael, to the land of Israel, and that picked up steam and picked up steam. And now we see uh, half, or, or even maybe a little more than half of all the Jews in the world are back in Eretz Yisrael, or back in Israel. So incredible things. And we've lived through all these clouds and brachas. I, I don't know, hopefully we're coming to the end. Hopefully COVID and this crazy weather, we're coming to the end of the klala. And... And all is in the Torah is saying all this is to inspire Teshuvah, is to to awaken us to return to Hashem, to return to His Torah and His mitzvahs. And it says, "V'shavta ad Hashem and you will return to Hashem your God. V'shamaita b'kolo, and you will listen to His voice. What does that mean? You'll listen to His voice. We'll listen to the voice we heard at Har Sinai at Mount Sinai. We'll listen to the words of the Torah and we'll follow the Torah and do the mitzvahs. B'kol Asher Anochi Mitzavech Hayom, that I command you today." Because every day, just like when we stood at Mount Sinai, we're commanded by Hashem to follow His Torah. 
Ata uvanecha bekol avavchal kol nafshecha, that you and your children, your sons, with all your heart and with all your soul. Veshav Hashem alokecha eshavu shavusecha, and Hashem will return your captivity. Verichamecha, and He will have mercy upon you. Veshav akibetzecha mikol hamim, and He will gather you from all the nations. Asher hafitzecha Hashem alokecha shama, that Hashem has spread you, He's dispersed you. He spread you out through all the world. We're scattered all over the world. So, And if you were even pushed off, dispersed, even to the ends of the heavens, that Hashem will gather you in from there and He will take you. Fascinating. So even if you're on the International Space Station, Hashem hasn't forgot about you. He's still bringing you back to Eretz Yisrael when it's time for the in-gathering. So then, the heavy acha Hashem alokaka el haaretz, and Hashem will bring you to the land, meaning the land of Israel. Asher Yarshu avosaka, that your fathers took possession of, meaning Avraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Asher Yarshu avosaka, vi rish ta vehetivcha vehir bicha meavosaka. And that you will take possession. Every Jewish person will inherit, every family, Jewish family will inherit a portion of the land. Everyone's going to have their own portion of the land of Israel. And he will do good for you. And he will make you more numerous than your fathers. And then, Umaw Hashem Elokecha Es Levavcha. And Hashem, your God, will circumcise your heart. And the Es Levav Zarecha in the hearts of your children. Le'achava Es Hashem Elokecha. To love Hashem your God. With all your heart and with all your soul, so that you may live where you may live, you may live in Yemotza Mashiach in the days of Mashiach and in Olam Habach, the, the, the world to come where, where death, disease, and all that will be eradicated and will only be life. So, this is the promise that Hashem makes us, this incredible promise that Hashem makes us in this Parsha. And unfortunately, Ha'elet Devarim, we've seen, we've seen all through Jewish history, we've seen the, these, these blessings and these curses, and in Bizrat Hashem, we are coming to the end of these curses, and that we will see the coming Mashiach when we know only Bracha and Simcha from now on. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back again soon on Sweet and Good Torah.